obviously, like, the thing about better time is that I heard it a while ago, and so many things were changed, things were added, removed, whatever, but, like, most of the songs were actually still on, I guess. And for me, it's still the same sentiment as far as, oh, these are, like, party songs. These are songs that you want to hear in club, bars, weddings, right? Yeah. And... And that's all David literally provides, man. He just gives you the vibe. You just want to go out there and dance. Like, it's not even an album that you can fully just enjoy on it. You just want to be on a fake DP, chilling. Or, do you know what I'm saying? Like, you really literally want to move. You have to move. You have to move. You have to be doing things around the house. You have to go outside. You have to just be active, you know? So, push you in a good mood, man. But for me, I have like five faves on the album, man. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I like he was on the album. I feel like um, I feel like all the features came through except Lil Baby. I don't really like that song at all. Fair enough. But I've been seeing that song on a lot of girls. Because, because, because of the, like the quality of his verses. I don't know. Saying, there, there's just something. Yeah. There's just something about that song that doesn't connect to me. I don't even think the song was made for me. Yeah. Do you understand what I'm saying? I don't know. It just feels like it was made for certain. I don't even know, man. What do you guys think about that song, though? So crazy, like, and I don't even know why they went with that after Femme. Like after Femme, I was expecting maybe like, imagine if like the best with Miracle came out right after Femme. Mm. Yeah, that would have been different. That would have been a different. Been a different people. So crazy, just yeah. made the whole thing. I don't even know why they shot for it, but I guess Lil Baby's really hot right now. Exactly, that's probably why. Yeah, but, but um, I don't know. My own point of view was um. Like I always said, like David has this hit mentality in terms of albums and stuff like that. Yeah. Like he c- created like a like a constructive, you know, me- not melodic, but um, like a- an album you just you, like you said, like just want to sit down and listen to. I feel like that's not his that's not his strong point, and he's sticking to what he knows no. how to do. And that is creates a mad banger. So exactly, it's like it's like DJ Khaled creating his album is the same thing like yo i'm yeah. gonna just do them the hardest songs i can yeah and like yep. i always tell you like that whole drake and david thing where drake has so many different fan bases he has to cater to every single person so if he created like a conceptual song people won't mm. really get it he has to give them consistent hits so yeah he feeds every single area of his fan base. that's why i think in general for sure i might have i liked it but i might have gone over my head because a lot of times these night songs if you're not in Niger, if you're not for in China, sure. you may not understand. That's the thing when it comes yeah. to like Niger, Niger hits, like songs that take off. Yeah. Uh, sometimes you have to be in the climate to understand. So, yeah, but I mean, yeah, David hits, hits. I mean, hands down. My only thing, I, I hated the last track, the outro, the very last song. And that was the second we guessed to me as well. Yeah, okay. And I'll say, I'd like to know who mastered the album, or if you just had different people mastering it, because... Had to be. Yeah, I, I don't know if that's the thing that's just... Um, I don't know. I don't know if... Would you, would you say he... He he deliberately chooses not to finesse those kind of things? Um, I feel like because, for example, now, yeah, some artists... Because, obviously, a lot of people collaborated on, on him with this, right? Yeah, and let's say someone like Nikki, for example, she may want you know her own verse to be mastered and mixed by her own engineer. She'll now email it. Someone here will now do it. Do you know what I'm saying? So it's not going to have that same thing of. Do you understand what I'm saying? But does that affect the overall master of like the project? I don't think so. I think so, man. I, I think if if they're like five or even his own songs, such as songs were different. I didn't even like Nikki's verse, to be honest. What really? Yeah, I just went through those kind of raps that are outdated. Just like, yo, man. Nah, I like, I like Nikki's verse. You know, I like how at first, in the first four bars, she used that flow. First of all, we have to definitely salute Percy, who wrote that song. Oh, and Sparrow, who produced it. You know, I feel like... I connect. I just feel like we don't we don't talk about um, Percy and Sparrow teaming up as much as we should, man. Those guys are very, very powerful. They are, you know, Percy is also... Um, some parts of fire obviously and it's ironic that fire and holy ground are like one of david's two highest charting songs on the billboard level 
I saw that stat today and I was like, that's a testament to Spurs' pen, obviously. Yeah, but um, yeah, what was I saying? Yeah, I think I think Nikki's Nikki's power was dope. It was dope. Well, not like obviously like a mad yeah, person. Yeah, someone that's gonna be like, oh, yeah, he's really he just like standing Nikki, just like yeah, yeah really that's standing yeah. standing Nikki, man. Yeah. Yonder, yonder. I would love to see him on the album. I love how he writes. That's you know what album. I think. I think that Bella Schmarder vibe. He replaced Yonder's vibe on this album. Yeah, I see, I see. Because he filled in those shoes. I get what you mean. And he needed, they even needed that type of collaboration. And it was with this Bella Schmurder guy. But those kind of artists that are just so deep in this Europe. For sure. 100%. Oh, I've been doing that with Peter. Two guys so long. I could see you. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> Bruh, yeah, man. Shout out to Yonder is deep on that. Yeah. What do you guys think about the song with Nas, though? <laughs> oh yeah, that's for me. That's a banger, bro. I mean, and I like, yeah, hey boy, be going crazy this year. Bro. Exactly. Nas, like, Nas, have you read Nas's lyrics? <laughs> I should even if, to me, it's not about the song itself for me personally. It's just about what it means to mm. culture in general. That's what I'm saying. Like, mm. you're trying to you're getting on like Nas. Yeah, it's not like getting like your normal features like Chris Brown, Young Thug, or like of even though get, get that song. This is like yeah, this is Nas, bro. Like. It, it's, it's, and Hit Boy is killing and everything. Like I swear, it's Big funny how go go. Yeah, but it's funny how you said that because obviously I posted a screenshot like a couple days ago. So, like David and I when he first put that um, when I saw the snippet on Insta. The first yeah. thing I said was, "Guy, you must send me this thing. Do you know who Nas is? Like, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, this is exactly Nas we're like, talking about. This is not even Chris Nas Brown. This is Nas. Nas like, yeah, it's Nas, bro. Like, chill. Forget to." The Alternative Network.